say that life is a gift and to use it well. Don't be selfish. Don't toy with it. Make the most of life and enjoy it. I once did. But now I have brought isolation to the world, leaving me all alone. Now I've left civilization to search for life. I have faith that someone is out there. It's been four years since the turn of the world's virus. I'm now living on nature itself. The factories and food supplies have died out over the years. I use the knowledge I have to survive within this world. I may be immortal, but I'm on a roundabout that I just can't get off. I just can't sit back and hope knowing that if there are any survivors, I'm looking for someone, or is someone looking for me? Too many questions. Hope is all I've got. But how much longer can I cope like this? How much longer? Wherever I go, whatever I feel, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I always have that voice inside my head. Just give it up, Drake. One wish has really hurt me, and it's still hurting. Happiness many years ago was all I wanted. Had God heard my prayers? I try to think positive now, but all I get is the memories. The memories of when it all began. I didn't realise that a mysterious diary from nowhere could control my life. It's hard to believe, but was someone trying to help me? To express my feelings away? On life in general? My life was full of wonders and tasks. One task was I wanted a family. I wanted a family, but I couldn't even get that. From a diary, to writing in my feelings, and feelings to wishes, the diary made your wishes come true. Mr. Winslow, this is a straight Winslow. I just wanted to have a brand new BMW. I freaked out. Every page was tempting to write in a wish. Temptation was taking over me. And oh, it did. It made my life complete. But the last wish was a mistake. to rule out swine flu, an outbreak of swine flu has killed dozens in Mexico, some say up to 60, and at least eight people in Texas and California have gotten sick. This type of swine flu has not previously been seen in pigs or humans. The World Health Organization says it appears to be spread from human to human.
Wait. Don't. You're supposed to be dead. Everyone's supposed to be dead. I thought everyone was dead, but I was wrong. Yeah, no! From that moment on, I was now completely puzzled and feeling an absolute failure. So where do I go from here? There must have been a reason why he was still alive when I wished for immortality. Something wasn't right. John Rowe, and the lost wallet to return to this address. So far, so good. But this didn't help me to understand why he's alive. Well, was. I mean, the guy was just out for a stroll, wasn't he? I could see that he could find happiness in the world. <laughs> Wrong way to go about it, John. Or was he searching for someone like me? I didn't think much of him until it all made sense. John Rowe was the previous owner, and I knew what exactly I needed to do. I had discovered that John Rowe may have been the previous owner of the diary, but he was smart. He had left an emergency paper from the diary at his house. Luckily, it wasn't too far away. I will use any source of transport that I can get even if it's just my own two legs. If I could just get there and turn back time to put things back the way they were, I could then stop this from happening again. Hope has now paid off, but I must do what I shall be the greatest thing in my life.
Hi. Um, this is really hard for me to put across to you. Um, what is it? I basically know what the future holds for you. Okay. Um, how do you know that? I've, I've seen it and lived it. Right. Are you crazy? No. I know a lot about you, John. Um, how do you know my name? I know enough about you that you have a diary. Um, yes, I know. Um, I think you should come in. So it all made sense. John was the one who started the swine flu virus. He set a date for the world terror to begin because he wanted to see what it was like to have the world to himself. John took a piece from the diary, and not long after that, the diary was sent to me. John saw it as God was picking on him, and God wanted someone else to be happy in this world. I told him what you are doing is wrong, and if I am wrong, why am I here? He knew what he needed to do now. I was glad that he could understand the diary's power, and you can enjoy life without it. He didn't like it, but I was happy that he could understand me. Also said to him, don't do drugs. He didn't understand that. Now I can live a life where I know there are no dangers, no worries, just tasks. Life must go on, and there's no need to cheat, because it hurts you at the end. This ending for me was only the beginning.